Hello everyone, well I'm sorry if I sound all run down and exhausted in this video because that's pretty much how I feel at the moment. I think I'm coming down with a cold and I was woken up at a ridiculous hour this morning. Well, it feels like a ridiculous hour so that's probably just an exaggeration really. Anyway, I noticed this came up on my newsfeed, Microsoft Defender ATP is coming to Linux. And it turns out that wasn't the only piece of Microsoft software coming to Linux. Uh, Perhaps the more important one was hell freezing over as Microsoft Edge is coming to Linux. Edge of all things, a browser. Well, they never made Internet Explorer come to Linux. So why do it now with Edge? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, perhaps this is perhaps this is all the embrace, extend, extinguish attitude. Although I have to say these usage statistics of Edge really do look quite impressive, don't they? From uh, what we've got, October 2019, Edge with 2.05% usage and Internet Explorer at one98 Well, considering IE is deprecated and they've been encouraging people to move to Edge with, yeah, marvellous consequences there. Um, perhaps the idea that uh, a few people may use it on Linux will help their usage stats. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so it's official. Edge will be coming. They can, they've made the announcement during the Ignite 2019 conference. Initially designed only as a replacement for the existing Microsoft Edge web browser that ships with Windows 10, the new Chromium-based build aims to be cross-platform, allowing users to use, use it on their Windows PCs, Mac, and even Linux PCs, as well as mobile devices. And yet they made the announcement during the Ignite 2019 conference. So at the moment, Microsoft's Chromium-based web browser is still in development with an RC build available for the download on Windows and Mac platforms and general availability expected on January the 15th, 2020, but don't expect to see a Linux build available at the time. <laughs> so they don't have detailed plans ready just yet. Uh, but yeah, there you are. <laughs> that was the uh, tweet and a picture about it. Microsoft Edge is fully cross-platform. I'm trying to see if the Tux logo is there, but I can see on the right-hand side it does say Linux available in the future, but we do have Android. Well, some of the sentiments do seem to be very clear already. Sorry, Microsoft, but your Edge browser will never be installed on my Linux computer. I have to say you can get an idea of the author's point of view, but it does say it's not exactly a Microsoft hater. It's actually quite the opposite, believe it or not. Despite many issues, I like Windows 10 and use it regularly. I even appreciate Microsoft support on both Linux and open source communities. So why would I be against installing Microsoft's web browser on my Linux machines? To be honest, the company has a long history of abusing power and negatively impacting the web. Its Internet Explorer web browser was a security nightmare causing tons of computer viruses, causing tons of computer users to get infected with malware over the years. And we have the information, and we have all the non-standards and uh, trying to cripple Netscape, which actually I did a video on. So they've effectively been absolutely wiped out by Chrome. Well, initially, the wipeout started from Firefox, but yeah, Chrome has come along and just almost won effectively. But yeah, things may change in the future. It did when Internet Explorer had a 98% majority, and yeah, now look at them, <laughs> less than 2%. I honestly couldn't blame anyone for thinking this exact point of view here that, yeah, there's no way Edge is going to be installed on their Linux system, but of course it does have one possible use for it, and that is for web developers. You can see for yourself how your web page will render in Edge, and you won't have to install Windows on any systems. Although I suppose that won't exactly be a given because there are differences on the fonts, so... Anyway, the other bit of news about Microsoft Defender. So previously called Windows Defender, they've renamed it to Microsoft Defender in an effort to be more cross-platform. So I did know this was going to be coming to Mac. So I knew this was coming to Mac and there was a possibility of it coming to Linux. So I was uh, given some of that information a while back. I can't remember which video I stated it in, but yeah. It was during one of the meetings with a customer manager and one of the project managers there that uh, I found that bit of information out because they were trying to push us to use Microsoft Defender. And they've gone for this uh, machine learning and sandbox things. Yeah, it's completely different to the old Windows Defender, where I couldn't catch anything much at all. <laughs> couldn't even catch a cold, unlike me. It does sound a lot better now with the way they've gone to the sandboxing and that, but <sighs> I honestly think a lot of this is too much for sales pitch. They've still gone for the dumbing down approach on malware analysis that... It sounds a good idea if you don't have a dedicated security analyst within the company. 
well, let's face it, that's only going to be for much larger companies or companies with very good revenue or need to protect some level of information. Yeah, for the average IT department, perhaps this could be a good thing. I'm not sure it compares so well as the product we're using, but hey, I'm not uh, on commission from the company I use, so I'm just not going to give them any commission at all by mentioning who they are. Yeah, they do good, make good mention of artificial intelligence. Everyone loves a bit of AI. So just searching in the news about Microsoft coming to Linux, you do find other articles. I and mean, this was Teams coming to Linux. Teams. I just can't stand Teams. I really can't. What, what are Microsoft trying to do? One of the bits I have to look at is on the forum side of things. And we use Yammer and Teams now. What? what why? Why do we have two different products from the same company that are almost trying to do the same thing? Yeah, I can't stand the team side of that. And the messaging, we've got Skype and Teams messaging. What meetings as well? I, I don't get it. What are they trying to do there? And anyway, I can't even stand using the app. I prefer to use the web client. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. But yeah. There you are, you're going to have the application for Teams coming to Linux. So yes, embrace, extend, extinguish. I do have to give a little shout out to Charlie Henderson for this nice Irene Plasma desktop wallpaper. Very colourful. Actually, wasn't Irene a games developer back in the days of the Super Nintendo and Sega Mega Drive or Genesis? I think one of their games was the Space Shoot 'em Up R Type. That's the one I can remember anyway. Anyway, that was the news about Microsoft's Embrace, Extend, Extinguish. Thanks for watching. See you all later.